Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be ranking all Premier League 2021-2022 home kits. Let's get into this. First up, we have the Arsenal kit. It looks just like the Ajax kit. You do not put loose strips on an Arsenal jersey. I like the design of the kit. Overall it's just a bit plain and boring. I have seen worse 12th place for the Gunners. Moving on to Aston Villa. I really like this shirt. The light blue sleeves are nice. It's similar to last season's kit but you get not to do much with it. They have added some stripes down the kit which gives off a nice effect. Overall, it's a decent kit. Ninth place. Brentford next. What have you done? The sponsor alone is terrible. Surely you can find a better sponsor. I know I may be being harsh because after all it's a red and white kit, but it looks like a child has drawn this and given it to Brentford. They could have tried a bit better. 19th place. Next up is Brighton. This kit is a beauty. The blue and white stripes are so effective. The gold strip down the side looks fresh. They have not made the sponsor look bold. As many clubs do, it looks a bit similar to other kits but overall they have done really well to produce this. 4th place for Brighton. Next up is Burnley. It's one of the better kits in this league. They have got rid of that horrible Chinese sponsor which makes the kit a whole lot better. It's a neat and well thought out kit. 7th. Now for my club, Chelsea. At first, when I saw this kit, I did not like it. The more I look at it, the more I like it. The kit is unique and you do not see many others like this. The zigzags and squares add an effect which makes you want to look at it. I really like this kit and would consider buying it. I'm not going to be biased. A solid 8th place. Next up we have Crystal Palace. Well we do not because you have not produced your kit yet. It's almost August and you have not published your home kit. That's an absolute disgrace and sorry to any Palace fans but an automatic 20th place. We now have Everton, I see what they have tried to do but it just has not paid off. It is a decent kit and I like the different tones of blue. It's a bang average kit. 11th place. Moving on to Leeds now. This is my number one. I love the jersey. The white and yellow works so well together. For a white kit they have executed it perfectly. Having the sponsor in blue works so well on this kit. If I were a Leeds fan I would buy this beautiful kit. First place for Leeds. Next up is another high scorer, coming under the name of Leicester City. Every year they produce brilliant kits and they have done it once again. The blue camo on the shirt works nicely and it just works well with a sponsor and overall kit. I'm not a big fan of the big sponsor but that is the only problem. One of the best. Third place. Liverpool now and this kit is very decent. I like how they have linked the red and orange to create a nice tone. I would be happy with this kit if I was a Liverpool supporter. A solid 5th place. Manchester City. I like this kit a fair amount. The light blue suits it and the white sponsor goes well. You can tell it's a City jersey. The problem is, it looks like they have just chucked a white shirt in a paint bucket and slapped a sponsor on it with no effort put in. For a club with lots of money, I would expect better. Like I said, I'm a fan of it, so I have put it in 6th place. We now have to judge Manchester United's kit. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this but I have put them in 14th. I know they are trying to make it a bit of a classic, but I really do not like it. It's fairly plain and the sponsor is squashed together. It is not the worst in the league but a 14th place finish for Manchester United. Newcastle is next up and they have the horrible kit sponsor which pushes them down a few places. I hate that Chinese sponsor, it ruins every kit. It's a bang average Newcastle shirt. To be fair to them, you can not to do much with a Newcastle jersey so a fair 13th place finish. We now have newly promoted Norwich City. I am in two minds because one part of me likes it and the other hates it. The Lotus sponsor does not work in the black. I like how they have linked the green and yellow but I'm not a fan. I know it's controversial but I have them in 17th. Moving on to Southampton and I think this is a quality kit. I like how the zigzags make it look like downward arrows. The red and white work well and it is a very quality kit. 
decent 10th place. Now we have Spurs and these fans will not like me but I have put the kid in 18th. It's really plain and simple. It is a downgrade from last year. They just haven't done anything to the kit. It looks like they've brought a white top and drawn a sponsor on it and published it. I know it's a white kit but they could have added blue strips. 18th place. Poor effort from Spurs. Up next is Watford. This kit is wonderful. The yellow and black blend into each other so well and the way they disguise the sponsor is second to none. It is clearly taken time and has had loads of effort put into it. I think there is only one better kit than this in the league. Second place for Watford and a good kit to return back to the Prem with. We move on to West Ham now and the kit is alright but not my cup of tea. It is similar to any other season. It is just a very standard kit. 15th place. The last and final kit is Wolves. What is this kit, like seriously? The sponsor is a Chinese McDonald's company. It's really ugly and similar to last season. 16th place. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.